Hey guys, welcome back to another Halloween video. Uh, apologies for my absence last week, I was sick as a dog, so... I figured to make up for last week, I would double up for y'all and talk about two pieces today. I have the Pumpkin Hollow Motel and the Haunted Souls Graveyard. I figured I'd talk about these two pieces together because... They don't have any crazy whiting or animation on them, so I figured they would be good for a combo review, so... Uh, let's start with the motel. So the Pumpkin Hollow Motel, whenever I first saw this piece when it was announced for 2024... I thought it looked pretty interesting, as it looked very much like a Department 56 building, and actually whenever I saw it, it immediately reminded me of the old Retching Pumpkin Diner they did many years ago. I'll flash a pic of it on screen so you can see what it looks like, and that's what this piece reminds me of. It's also like a Department 56 piece because the building has a very nice paint job on it. It's very clean. Sometimes Limax paint jobs can be messy, but this one has a super clean paint job on it. So lighting-wise, you can see here, very cleanly lit, it doesn't have any dramatic, li uh, dramatic lighting on it. It's lit with yellow lights, but it does the job, and it helps it stand out better than perhaps a bulblet-style building. Uh, talk about some of the details here, you have this pumpkin man at the, front of the, uh, at the front of the motel. The big pumpkin motel sign, it looks very nice lit up. Of course, you have the large jack-o'-lantern on top that has a light inside of its mouth and its eyes. And I like the skeleton guy near the back who's peering out, of, uh, who's peering out with a lantern. So, uh, all in all, a uh, pretty fun little piece. It's nothing earth-shattering per se, but it would do nicely in either a town or a pumpkin patch as like a little attraction you might find. Alright, now on to the Haunted Souls Graveyard. This is a piece I was really excited for as I love the graveyard theme. A lot of my favorite pieces are in the graveyard theme. And this one looked awesome in the pictures. And it's a big throwback piece to old school Limax when they used to do those front yard platforms. Uh, this is totally a callback to that, and I would love to see Limax do more pieces like it. So on to the graveyard itself. You can see here, this is what it looks like when you first get it out. You only have the platform and the uh, fencing, and the rest of the pieces, uh, you actually have to add onto it. Now here's all the pieces. Uh, I'm showing you them right now. You can arrange them however you want, but it does look cool how it's laid out in the promotional picture. So these pieces come in these little white boxes that are packed in the box alongside with the platform. And here it is all assembled, a very spooky traditional graveyard. I love how the tombstones have various sayings and jokes on them like Dawn Under, I'm a sucker for the little jokes like that. I dig the monument with the angels of death on the side. And of course you have the crypt, which is very reminiscent of the old school uh, spooky town crypt of Sir Edgar Goodbody. And I'll flash a picture of that piece uh, up on screen so you can see what it looks like. So what I also really like about this piece... Uh, while it looks great as is, you can add other accessories inside it to help amplify it even more. Like in this picture here, um, I added the uh, Michael's Fountain that they did last year, and I think it looks great that way. So I'm a big fan of how you can accessorize it however you want. Alright guys, so that's, the, that's my review of the Haunted Souls Graveyard. An awesome table accent, and a must-have for any graveyard scene. Alright guys, so that was my uh, double up review. Thank y'all so much for watching. Again, apologies for last week's absence. Feeling back to normal again, so looking forward to getting back on the season. And to tease what I'm going to talk about next time, we're going to do a big showpiece and we're going to stay at a haunted resort. See you then.